briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The federal government found itself embroiled in a lawsuit in 2011 when wildlife advocacy groups Wild Earth Guardians, Defenders of Wildlife, and the Sierra Club collectively challenged the decision to authorize coal mining on public lands in northeastern Wyoming. At the heart of the dispute was an authorization given by the Bureau of Land Management, BLM, to grant coal mining leases through a competitive bidding process. The crux of the controversy was the assertion by the plaintiffs that the BLM was required to recertify the Powder River Basin as a coal production region before the sanctioning of mining operations on the West Antelope II tracks. Interestingly, the defendants in the case featured a diverse range of parties. Ken Salazar, the U.S. Secretary of Interior at the time, the BLM, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Antelope Coal LLC, the state of Wyoming, and the National Mining Association, who intervened as defendants. The lower court ended up ruling in favor of the United States, dismissing a key claim by the plaintiffs as untimely. Moreover, it ruled that no legal obligation existed which mandated the BLM to recertify the Powder River Basin as a coal production region ahead of authorizing the leases. The decision made by the court effectively struck down the crux of the plaintiffs' arguments. The Mineral Leasing Act of 1920, it said, granted the federal government considerable authority to award leases for coal mining via competitive bidding, even allowing for the division of lands classified for coal leasing into distinct tracts. Recertification of coal production areas, as demanded by the plaintiffs, was not a stipulation in the act. Ultimately, the court concluded that the BLM had enjoyed significant discretion in either certifying, decertifying, or recertifying coal production regions. This discretionary power effectively quashed the plaintiff's claim that the BLM was legally bound to recertify the Powder River Basin as a coal production area before leasing mining operations on the West Antelope II tracks. As a result, the plaintiff's claims for relief found no traction, resulting in the dismissal of the case. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.